Welcome to TechFix. Today, we're diving into the powerful new Canon EOS R7 Mark II, a mirrorless beast packed with exciting upgrades. From faster autofocus to improved image stabilization, this might just be your next favorite camera. Let's see what makes it stand out in 2025. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more epic reviews and gear updates. Design and Build Quality The Canon EOS R7 Mark II is expected to retain much of the compact, rugged form factor of its predecessor, but with some key refinements aimed at ergonomics and professional usability. Rumors suggest a slightly redesigned grip, deeper and more contoured, for better comfort during long sessions. The weather ceiling is also anticipated to be improved, putting it closer to Canon's higher-end R5 and R6 Mark II bodies in terms of dust and moisture protection. A new, more tactile joystick and upgraded command dials could improve control in fast-paced shooting scenarios, while the inclusion of a top LCD panel, currently just a rumor, would be a welcome nod to Canon's Proline DSLRs. Canon is known for subtle but impactful hardware improvements, and the R7 Mark II seems poised to follow that philosophy. Sensor and image quality Canon is reportedly developing a new APS-C stacked CMOS sensor, rumored to come in at around 32 to 35 megapixels, a modest bump from the original 32.5 MP chip. More importantly, this sensor is expected to adopt a BSI, backside illuminated, architecture to enhance light gathering ability, reduce noise, and improve dynamic range, especially in lower light. Alongside it, the Digic X or possibly a new generation processor would bring faster readout speeds and better handling of complex scenes with high contrast. Photographers can expect richer tones, better highlight retention, and cleaner high ISO performance, making the Mark II a more viable option for professional use even in difficult lighting. Autofocus, subject tracking at the next level. One of the most anticipated upgrades for the EOS R7 Mark II is its dual-pixel CMOS AF2 system, reportedly enhanced with the latest tracking algorithms from the EOS R3 and R5 Mark II. This means better at face, animal, and vehicle tracking, even in erratic motion or low-contrast scenes. Canon may also include expanded autofocus zones and AI-assisted scene recognition, allowing the camera to intelligently switch subjects or prioritize focus based on compositional context. For wildlife and sports shooters who rely on split-second accuracy, this could be a game-changer, offering performance previously reserved for full-frame systems in a compact, crop sensor body. Video Capabilities, 6K Recording and 10-Bit Options The original R7 already offered strong video performance, but the Mark II is rumored to take it further with 6K 60p internal recording, using the full sensor width, along with 10-bit 4,2,2 color depth and Canon Log 3. High frame rate 4K 120p, without heavy cropping, is also being speculated. With improved heat management and dual UHS-2 card slots, the camera may handle long-form shooting better, catering to YouTubers, documentarians, and hybrid creators who demand reliability and high-quality footage. Canon may also refine its in-body audio preamps and menu interface for easier audio control and waveform monitoring, a significant bonus for solo video shooters. IBIS and Stabilization Improvements Canon is expected to improve the in-body image stabilization IBIS, system in the R7 Mark II, potentially achieving up to 8 stops of compensation when paired with compatible RF lenses. The original R7's IBIS was already a standout among APS-C models, and this rumored refinement could further cement the Mark II as a powerful tool for handheld shooting, both in stills and video. A more intelligent IS coordination system is also hinted at, which would improve performance when panning, shooting telephoto, or tracking moving subjects. This could make the R7 Mark II a go-to body for travel and field photographers who need lightweight gear without sacrificing stability. Connectivity and Workflow Integration Canon is also aiming to make the EOS R7 Mark II more appealing to hybrid shooters and professionals with a rumored suite of modern connectivity options, including Wi-Fi 6E, Bluetooth 5.3, and USB-C 3.2 for fast file transfer and remote shooting. Tethering support is expected to be enhanced for studio workflows, 
and the Canon Camera Connect app will likely see improved live view and control responsiveness. Dual SD card slots, both UHS-2, should remain standard, providing a flexible and redundant file structure for both photographers and videographers. Conclusion If the current rumors prove accurate, the Canon EOS R7 Mark II will mark a significant step forward for Canon's APS-C mirrorless system. With a higher resolution BSI sensor, improved autofocus intelligence, expanded video features, and better stabilization, the Mark II looks to evolve every key aspect of its predecessor without losing the agility and affordability that made the original R7 such a hit. For wildlife and sports photographers, it could offer a compact, high-speed alternative to the heavier R5 or R3. For content creators and hybrid shooters, it brings serious pro-level video specs into a smaller body. And for traditional photographers, Canon's thoughtful refinements in ergonomics, interface, and build quality may create an all-around workhorse that punches far above its weight. While official specs and pricing remain under wraps, the Canon EOS R7 Mark II is shaping up to be a defining camera in the RF APS-C lineup, one that balances performance, portability, and professional capability in a way only Canon can. Thanks for watching this video on TechFix. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and drop a comment below. For more tech insights, reviews, and fixes, stick with TechFix. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more awesome tech reviews and updates.